Hey yo, what's up? So I spent the last few weeks developing some iOS Zoom hacks. And the thing about these Zoom hacks is I don't want to give your hopes up. These aren't going to be anywhere near the quality of the computer Zoom hacks. You're definitely going to want to use a computer for some of these. Now that I preface that, I definitely say the best for last year. And the last one is probably one I definitely use if I use an iPad for school ever. So let's get into five iOS Zoom hacks. Keep in mind that these are only for iOS devices, so for iPhones and iPads. Now, Androids, I'm not too sure that some of these will work. Obviously, some will work, some won't. So if you want me to make an Android Zoom hack video, I guess I will, but I'm not too sure if there's a demand for that. Okay, so we'll start out with my first one, which we all know about Snap Lens, or maybe not all of us know about it. I talked about it in one of my previous Zoom hack videos. And what this allows you to do is put a little face filter over your face and have that in your little Zoom window. So we can sort of get this effect on the iPad. However, you're going to need to screen share. So I know this isn't gonna be possible for a lot of people in their class periods, but this is gonna be possible if you're like on Zoom with your friends. So all we gotta do is just go and share our screen. So if we take a look here, um, you can see I have the face filter on. So this is with my iPad screen shared, and this is with Snapchat open. So as you can see, you can kind of tell like right here, there's is the different lenses I can choose and I can actually scroll through them. But the only downside is everybody else can see these lenses. So it kind of sucks. Um, so you can only screen share them too. So. This is kind of the downside of having one of these filters. Now, let's get into my second hack, which is gonna be just the simple screen sharing, except you can actually port audio to Zoom. For this hack to work, we just gotta go back into Zoom, right here, and it's actually playing audio. So if we go here and then go to this, and then hit microphone on, it's actually pointing the audio through whatever app we're in. So if we go into YouTube, it'll actually play the microphone audio onto everybody else's Zoom. So again, let me just go over that one more time. We get swipe down and there's gonna be a little microphone icon here and make sure that microphone is on. And as long as that microphone's on, then the audio will be porting from your iPad to Zoom. So um, that leads me to my third tip, which is gonna be a voice changer. So you can get voice changers all over the internet and just simply open one of these voice changers, have headphones on, and speak into the voice changer. And the voice changer should go through Zoom and basically change your voice. Now, again, you have to be sharing your screen for this, so it kind of sucks, and it's not gonna work in any class periods. So let's get into my fourth tip. Ah, man, what's my fourth tip? For my fourth tip, some teachers don't like recording their Zoom calls for some reason. I don't know why. But um, we could simply record our Zoom calls by swiping down and hitting record screen. Now this one seems pretty obvious to some people, but like uh, I, I'm totally sure that there's some people that like didn't realize this was even a possibility. Same thing works on a computer. I've gotten questions asking me like, hey, how do you record the Zoom call when the teacher's not recording? Well, you just turn on the screen recorder and it works really well actually. The audio comes through pretty clear as long as the Zoom's working. And so for my last tip that I told you guys that was probably the best one, if you ever wanna pretend like you're glitching out in class, uh, just swipe. Um, so the iPad has this feature called multitasking, and so you can swipe from the corner, but the thing about this is it pauses the application in the back. So whatever picture was playing in Zoom, it'll freeze on that picture. So you can actually make it look like you're glitching by constantly putting this back and forth. And as you can see, my camera shut off right now. Okay, there we go. Um, so as you can see, I can put it here and then freezes, unfreezes, freezes, unfreezes, just constant freezing and unfreezing. So it works really well for your Zoom like classes if you ever wanna make it look like you're glitching out and pair it with the audio that I had in last video. I'll just link it down below. Here's what it sounds like. other people clicked off the video because because I, I know when you guys click off the video so I'm just saying uh, since you stayed I just want to share a little tip with you and this is not very probable if you if you have a laptop or a desktop computer then you probably want to use that for zoom but in the very rare case 
where you have a laptop computer and you're using an iPad to use Zoom, well, I got a simple trick. And I kind of stole this from another YouTuber, his, his link's here, when I was doing the research for the video. That's why I, I didn't steal the tip. This is a bonus tip, okay? Keep that in mind. And all you gotta do is put the iPad in front of a video of you paying attention. Now, this was one of my previous tips, but it never worked on the iPad. So all you gotta do is just put it in front of the computer and have it at an angle where it looks like you are paying attention. And uh, and if you wanna see an Android hack video for Zoom, um, just just drop a comment down below. I'll be sure to get to them. I respond to all comments, come on. You can go on any of my videos. I respond to all, all the comments, all the comments, except for a few of you, I'm sorry about that, I'm sorry. Just leave another comment and I'll respond to this, this time. I'll respond this time, I swear. Okay, well, see you.